Look up. On a clear night far from city lights, the sky reveals its true majesty. A tapestry of stars, each a distant sun. Between them lies the vast, dark expanse we call space, an ocean of dust, radiation, and mystery. Earth is a tiny island in this cosmic ocean, our sun, a local lighthouse in the Milky Way. For most of history we could only wonder about what lay beyond our solar system's edge. The boundary where our sun's influence fades remained a mystery, a frontier we could only imagine. This edge isn't a line but a dynamic invisible shield, the heliosphere, a magnetic bubble blown by the solar wind. It protects us from high-energy cosmic rays that would otherwise bombard our world. Understanding this shield is essential to knowing our place in the cosmos and what makes life on Earth possible. But how do you explore a place you can't see, so distant that even light takes years to cross? You have to go there. You have to send a messenger, a robotic emissary to brave the unknown. This is the story of two such ships, two of the most remarkable explorers in human history. They became our eyes and ears on an epic journey to the unseen shore of the interstellar ocean, their names, Voyager, and their journey would change our understanding of home forever. In 1977, humanity launched two ambassadors to the cosmos Voyager 2 and Voyager 1. Their mission, the Grand Tour, was made possible by a rare planetary alignment, our one shot for generations to visit the outer solar system up close. Using gravity assist, the probes could slingshot from Jupiter to Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, maximizing their reach with minimal fuel. These were not ordinary machines, they were packed with instruments to see, hear and feel the universe in ways we never could. They were built to last to endure the cold radiation and loneliness of deep space for decades, but the Voyagers carried something more, a golden record. This time capsule, bolted to each spacecraft, is a message in a bottle for any civilization that might find it. It contains greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth and music from across human cultures. The golden record is a symbol of Voyager's mission, not just science but a gesture of cosmic optimism. It says, this is our planet, this is who we are, we are explorers. As the Voyagers sailed past the planets and headed for the stars, they carried not just our instruments but our spirit. They are humanity's most distant emissaries carrying a message of peace and curiosity into the great unknown. Their journey is a testament to our desire to connect, to reach out, and to be known. The Grand Tour was more than a mission, it was a statement of who we are. The Voyagers became our voice in the cosmic ocean, and their message still travels on. What did scientists expect at the edge of our solar system? The truth? They weren't sure. The heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind yields to the interstellar wind, was a theoretical concept, a cosmic shoreline. Would it be a smooth transition or a turbulent frontier? Models were just educated guesses. Scientists predicted the solar wind would slow, creating a region called the termination shock, then a turbulent heliosheath, and finally the heliopause itself. This boundary is our first line of defense, shielding us from most high-energy galactic cosmic rays. Understanding its structure is crucial for Earth's habitability and for future human exploration beyond our solar bubble. The Voyagers weren't just sightseeing, they were on a mission of profound scientific importance. They were our scouts, mapping unknown territory and sending back data that would rewrite textbooks. The faint signals from these distant probes carried answers to some of our biggest questions about our place in the galaxy. The scientific community waited, listening for whispers from the edge, and the Voyagers delivered. Before reaching the unknown, the Voyagers gave us a breathtaking tour of our solar system. At Jupiter they revealed a world of storms, the Great Red Spot, and active volcanoes on Io. Saturn's rings, once thought simple, were shown to be thousands of intricate ringlets shaped by tiny moons. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, was found to have a thick, hazy atmosphere, echoes of early Earth. Voyager 2 alone visited Uranus and Neptune discovering Uranus's tilted axis and Neptune's fierce winds and dark storms. Neptune's moon Triton was revealed as a geologically active world with nitrogen ice volcanoes. The Grand Tour rewrote planetary science, showing the outer solar system as vibrant and diverse. Moons could be as complex as planets, with oceans, atmospheres and volcanoes. The Voyagers gave us a family portrait of our solar system, richer and stranger than we'd ever imagined. Their discoveries laid the groundwork for every mission that followed. They transformed our view of the planets, and our place among them. The journey was just beginning. After Neptune the Voyager's planetary mission ended, but their ultimate journey began. They sailed into the vast empty space beyond the planets toward the edge of the sun's domain. For years, they measured the solar wind, 
inching closer to the boundary. The probes were old, launched in the 1970s with ancient technology and dwindling power. Every year, they had less energy to run their instruments and heaters, and the cold of deep space was relentless. Could they survive long enough to reach the frontier? The unknowns were daunting, would the termination shock be violent, would the heliopause be stable or chaotic? The voyagers were like the first sailors crossing a vast ocean with no maps, only stories of cosmic monsters. The years ticked by, the signals grew fainter but the spacecraft persevered. They became helionauts, explorers of the sun's domain. They were knocking on the door to interstellar space, a door closed to humanity for all of history. We waited, breath held, to see if they would make it through, and then, the moment arrived. In 2004 Voyager 1 crossed the termination shock, surviving the first major boundary. The solar winds slowed, became hotter and denser, confirming theories but revealing new mysteries. Voyager 1 entered the heliosheath, a turbulent no-man's land, sending back data that baffled scientists. Then in August 2012 its instruments detected a dramatic change. Solar particles dropped, galactic cosmic rays surged, Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause, it had left the solar system. For the first time a human-made object was flying through interstellar space. The boundary was sharp, not gradual, a distinct line only a few thousand kilometers thick. Just beyond Voyager 1 found a plasma wall, denser than expected where our solar bubble pushes against the galaxy. This was a cosmic traffic jam, something no model had predicted. In 2018 Voyager 2 followed, confirming its twins' findings from a different path, two data points, two locations, proof that the discoveries were real. The Voyagers had mapped the true edge of our home. They answered old questions and revealed new mysteries about how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. Their journey redefined the boundary between home and the unknown. They sailed across the cosmic ocean and sent back a map of the shoreline. The universe was stranger and more wondrous than we'd ever imagined. The Voyagers had crossed into forever, and humanity had followed. The Voyagers' discoveries have profound implications. We now know the heliosphere is a robust shield, vital for our cosmic safety and for future explorers. Their data helps us understand the risks of deep space travel and the conditions needed for life elsewhere. Perhaps only stars with strong protective bubbles can host habitable worlds. The Voyagers showed us that a solar system is not an isolated island but part of a dynamic interactive galaxy. But their legacy is more than data, it's a story of human spirit and curiosity. Two machines built by dreamers now journey into eternity, carrying a message of who we are. Today, the Voyagers continue their silent journey, tens of billions of kilometers from home. Their faint signals take nearly a day to reach us, but they will travel on for millions of years. They are our silent ambassadors, our legacy on the interstellar wind. They remind us that our greatest purpose is to explore, to understand and to find our place in the grand cosmic odyssey.